Now, last year, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported that a whopping 60% of new tech jobs went to women. However, a new report from the Center for Talent Innovation found that women are nearly 50% more likely than men to leave tech jobs in their rookie year. So what do you make of those figures? So there are all these studies with different figures. Let me tell you some things that happen. What we see is that women, girls do as well or better than boys all the way through high school. When they go into college, they're the best students prepared to go into a STEM field, but they actually fall out of STEM careers at higher, or, or let's not call it careers. They do not graduate at as high a rate as males who go into STEM in colleges. And so those numbers about who falls out when and where, we know we have a shortage of people going into STEM fields. We know that we are not using the talent that are the women that are, you know, minorities in this country towards STEM education. But there's something that's more important um, conceptually. We all need to be science literate. And what does science literate mean? What does it mean to be science literate? It means you can read an article in the newspaper about an environmental subject, about healthcare, things like that, and figure out how to, um, to respond to it. It means that you can understand uh, something about breast cancer when it applies to you. We all need to be STEM literate. Just to work our way through the day, we need to be STEM literate. And I think that's really important because as we get students excited, um, maintaining their excitement about science, then they will be able to fill those pipelines later. Kids come into kindergarten, they're really excited about science because they're picking up the bugs, the snails, all those kinds of things that you find around, right? They do want to do experiments, but they get into school and people teach them to do science very, very differently. It's not done hands-on. And sometimes people think putting folks in front of a computer, I know we're talking over the internet now, they think that that's the science, but it's not. It's, it's not the only thing. It's growing the plant in the, you know, the potato in a cup, and then you see how fast it sprouts and blooms and you measure things. It's watching butterflies, um, you know, grow from caterpillars. Those are the kinds of things that keep kids excited. It's the experimentation, and that's what we need. It's the science literacy. We want hairdressers to know something about pH balance, right? Because that's what happens with all people's <laughs> relaxers and perms and curls and things like that. Um, it's, it's much broader than just saying we have this engineer to fulfill this job. That is critically important, but we also need the skilled technician, 